Hey Vicky, before you stain your deck, you need to brush it off. And a big brush like this will do a good job of getting all the grime off of your deck that's probably gathered through our long winter. And you know, we're learning that prep work is key to a lot of these do-it-yourself projects. Darren Miller, the general manager here at, uh, Min at Menards, is joining us. And Darren, now I know uh, some people want to use soap and water, but there's some some uh, something to use that's even better than that for cleaning off your deck? Right. Soap and water is actually not the best thing to use. Um, there are specific chemicals and products that are designed specifically for preparing your deck. Uh, if you have a deck that's still in pretty good shape, you're going to be able to go with just a cleaner, get it ready to go. Um, if your deck's a little faded, uh, you want to use what's called a wood brightener, uh, which actually on this board here we've already used, and you can see the color differential between the brightened and the uh, old wood. And then if it's really in bad shape and you got some splinters that are coming off, you know, people are stubbing their toe, uh, you're going to want to use a stripper and actually strip that down and then possibly even sand it down to get it ready to apply your stain. And that goes whether it's a deck or a fence, either way you're working on it. Okay. Um, First thing, uh, to make sure your stain's ready, you're going to water test it. Um, this water here, you can see, is soaking into the wood. This one's ready to take stain. Um, this sample over here that we've pre-stained, you can see how that water beads up. If the water beads up like that at all on your deck, you're not ready to stain. It's not going to take the stain. That stain's going to beat up, and you're just going to waste product and waste your time. Um, I have uh, my uh, paint and wall coverings manager, Kevin's actually going to apply some of the mahogany flame to this board for us. Um, now, as he applies, you can see how dark it goes on. That will dry to that uh, nice color that you see there on the other end of the board. Uh, but as he does, he brush strokes with the grain. Um, obviously, as you, if you have a large project, a full fence or a uh, full deck, you may not want to do this by hand with a brush. Uh, that's where we have special applicators uh, designed for each project, uh, mounted by long arm, uh, that can help you making sure the project goes smoothly. Uh, and doesn't hurt your back or your uh, wrist as you're doing the whole thing. Um, and as you can see, it covers pretty quick. Kevin's almost done with our entire display board. Uh, this is all done with a Cabot stain, which is a new product for Menards. Uh, we have now the largest selection in the area, and it's actually on sale with a mail-in rebate right now, so it's a great time to get your product. Um, and the other boards you see here are just different finishes. Uh, he's working with a mahogany flame uh, next to it on uh, his left probably your right is the natural and on the other end here is the Jura brown um, so no matter what finish you're looking for we have a stain that'll help you get there okay now Dan one quick question uh, how long does it take for this to dry uh, this will usually dry I believe in within 24 hours uh, you do want to give it some full time to dry before if you're going to do another coat or anything because uh, it does need to set up and actually work into the wood it has to actually seep in not just that top coat okay Thanks, Darren and Kevin, for being here this morning and uh, telling, showing us about staying your decks. Now, my morning continues. I'm going to head down to the Lower Harbor Park in Marquette and learn more about the Boston Strong 409 race that's happening tonight. We'll be telling you about that later on this morning. For now, back to the studio. I'm live in Marquette Township right now. Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News.